Hi guys, uh, Sharath here. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how exactly Jekyll works. Uh, maybe in a simpler manner. Uh, what is the difference between HTML and Jekyll? Uh, why is it uh, so important and uh, why it makes a designer's life easy? You may have seen any Jekyll repository and you see these strange folders whose name starts with an underscore. So I'll try to explain all that uh, because uh, Jekyll uh, takes them as special folders. They are there for a particular purpose. I'll try to explain all that in this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, create a new project. So by project, I mean a new directory for our website. Um, let's say we are creating something called hello world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open this in an IDE, uh, which is bracket or uh, uh, any other uh, ID would do. Now, uh, this project doesn't have anything inside, so it is blank. So I'm going to create a website here. I'm going to call it index.html. This is the home page, uh, like any other website. This is the home page. Um, so let's give it a title, like uh, this is home page. We'll make a space there. This is home page. And inside the body, um, I will uh, type this is the same thing home page okay uh, maybe inside a h1 tag um, okay so so that it, it appears bigger uh, now I'm gonna add some style as well but I will add it in a different uh, file uh, slash style CSS. So this one I have to create this style file. I'm gonna do it here. Style.css. I'm gonna add some style for the website. The body max width. Uh, let's give it a max width of uh, 400 pixels maybe. So that the content is not so wide, and I will uh, try to center it. Margin uh, zero and auto should uh, do it. Uh, okay, uh, it will have a title in the, you know, in the center, uh, but it it will be on the top. Let's give it a background color. Of um, this is my favorite green color. Zero uh, AFI and uh, let's give it. Uh, uh, by default, the color of uh, text will be black I'm giving it a nice white color uh, and uh, what else I think this is this is enough I think that should work um, let's go ahead and uh, serve this using Jekyll now I have to get back to the directory I have to open command window I have to do Jekyll serve so I told you before uh, yeah, to do this you should have Ruby installed and you should have Jekyll installed so uh, once I serve it, it will, it will tell me that you know your uh, server address is this. I'm gonna log into that. I think I have a browser open just for that. Okay, this is our home page. So now what we see is uh, what are the things we just did. This is a simple website I created, but uh, I haven't done anything Jekyll yet. So let's imagine in your project you won't be having one single uh, one single you know page. You probably will have other pages like uh, about about.html. So in order to create this, you have to do that all over again. The same thing about, and maybe you change it here. This is about page, and you may add some content. Uh, I'm gonna copy the same thing, and uh, our about page is ready. So here, if you uh, type about.html. And you get it this is you know uh, it has a title about and the h1 is also about page now that's not enough we may need another page called contact dot html to do this we have to do all over you know, the same thing again uh, now again we have to change these two things to contact okay now we come back and here open contact that is html we have the third page so I'm not giving any navigation to go from that to this this to that but uh, these are the three pages we have but 
you can see that all these three pages have something in common that is uh, this uh, till body only thing that is being changing is this uh, content so so this is where Jekyll is very useful I'm gonna create a, a folder called layouts and inside layouts I'll create a new layout called default dot stable so this is our default layout which should be applied to all the pages so now coming back to HTML I'm gonna take all this and put it inside default and I'm gonna take the lower part of it again put it inside put it in the lower part of the default page now what I'm gonna do is here I have to add content I'll, I'll explain uh, in a different video how to use these uh, liquid quotes or liquid tags now this is uh, this is an object uh, here the content is taken from the pages and inserted here now our index became simple right but uh, it, it's not done yet we have to add a, a front matter so front matter is defined inside these three dashes top and bottom inside you have to mention which layout this page should use let's use default um, so now this content goes inside here and it will be served if you want to see it in action you can uh, go back so okay so something is wrong uh, content okay index default okay I haven't I haven't added a underscore so yeah this is that is important we we need to add a underscore before you know um, so that Jekyll considers that as a special folder now let's come back okay this is working if you look at the source uh, this is the content and this is this is all you know which is already present in the default layout now coming back we can do that to contact page as well remove all that just put three dashes and uh, give it a layout which is uh, we have only one layout which is default take out this uh, body as well I mean and uh, do the same thing for about also for all you can, you can do this for all the pages so here your pages became very simple your uh, index is this your uh, contact is this about is this they are gonna work the same way um, so this is home page uh, you can go to contact um, .html you have it um, you can change it to about you have the same thing but one thing you notice is even in about page you're getting uh, the title as home page if you observe here in the you know tab you see that this is home page that is because the default layout has that if I take it out this is just a page uh, this is page but we need about there isn't it so what we are gonna do is we can come back to our about page and have a title for this page okay let's give it a title about okay or uh, yeah there's enough I think and we'll give the same thing to contact title to contact and I will give the index page a title home because that is our home page okay now you can go back to default and here you can mention another object which is page dot title so what it does is it inserts whichever page it is being you know, used uh, the title of that particular page let's say it is going to use about page it will take this title part and it will insert it right here at this space so if you want to see it in action uh, you see that is about page uh, if I change it to contact that is our contact page if I go to home page this is home page so this is where Jekyll you know does its magic and this is very useful you can create any number of pages you know you want with this kind of templating you don't have to copy paste everything all the time and another thing you notice is this um, head 
uh, is common, right? Um, if you want to um, keep them separate, the head tag, maybe at some point you will have uh, a header tag, right? Uh, maybe your uh, navigation bar. So let's say you will have like, you know, three links there. Um, let's imagine you have a header with three links, which is uh, first is about dot html the second one is uh, contact dot html third one is uh, maybe home that is enough we'll call it home contact here uh, we call it uh, about okay this is your header if you want to see it in action so those are the things if you go to about it goes to about page it goes to contact page it comes back to home now so we don't want this in default page this header uh, we have to come back to default and edit it if you if you want to edit it we want it in a different section we want the default to be very simple so what we can do is Jekyll has another facility where you can do that you have to create another folder called includes so includes is very useful uh, inside includes you can create a file called header maybe header.html remember they should be html all the time uh, go to default and take this out this header part and uh, put it in header.html okay but you have to include that header file the header.html here at this same spot where you removed it from so how do you add it you add two percentages uh, this is a this is a tag uh, this is a liquid tag i'll explain in a different video that you know how how it works here you have to include just have to include uh, you have to type include and header dot html so what it does is it it looks up in the includes folder and it looks up for header dot html and if it is there it will put it here so the same result nothing changed and if you want to change something maybe you, know, you go here and you add a class for these let's say for all of them uh, called link and you add a style for them here um, dot link maybe adding Five pixel, ten pixel, and maybe uh, background color. You, you want to make them make it look like uh, buttons. Uh, maybe dark ones. So you added uh, only here um, in the header, which is called everywhere, every page. Now, if you refresh, you have it. Uh, that doesn't look so good. I'm gonna change the color okay and i don't want that uh, want that underline um okay i have to add semi column here none let's see if this works okay now we have a nice button kind of thing so that is how you can use uh, header i mean uh, includes uh, but you can have many number of you know any number of folders there so if you see here head is common right i mean head you can take out head uh, the head tag and put it in includes so how do you do that you include uh, head dot html and you cut it from here you go here and paste it now come back to default you have to include head with similar to how you included header now if you come back so header is gonna be there in all pages okay so now it makes the default um, page simple it looks simple now so let's imagine um, we need another layout for about we want a title to appear on the top Okay. title on the top um, saying that 
just about with a with a h1 maybe so in order to do that we need another uh, layout if you want to show it differently let's say uh, we add another layout called maybe page you can call any name here uh, so this page should use uh, all the things you know default it should use the default layout but it should use something extra which is a h1 tag uh, saying about or page dot title this works for everything now we want it to be a ladder style right here uh, I'll add a font size of uh, maybe super big, 200%. Uh, so it, it makes it big. That's all. Now, um, this is a default layout. Uh, this is page layout. So if you apply page layout, so to let's say for about. Okay. So now about page uses page layout now what is page layout page layout will have a h1 and at the bottom you should have content also okay uh, at, at some place you should uh, so whatever page had the about page had this h1 will come here at the content space and this whole thing will go to default and it will be placed at the place of content so if you want to see it in action let's go to about page see we have it I think uh, I should have done some changes to that I can quickly do that I think uh, in page uh, hmm, text transform I want the uh, first letter to be capitalized and uh, 200 doesn't seem to be big enough uh, I'll do it 500 percent now uh, let's come back let's say it in action so um, text transform is not working capitalized maybe and I'm not sure hmm uh, let me see Oh, that is a, that is a Z there. Okay, I missed a Z. Uh, this happens. Okay, capitalize. There is no D. Now it should work. Okay. So uh, if you go to contact page, it doesn't happen because it is just using the default one. And if you go to home, this doesn't happen. Uh, so if you, if we go to contact and change it to change the layout to page and if you come back even in contact page we have that uh, if you want to change it to change it in the index that will show up in index as well home page so <clears throat> this is how checker can be useful uh, to have different layouts so at some point we will have a post layout how your post should look like we can also do that uh, <clears throat> um, all those things probably I will explain that in the next video where I talk about liquid uh, coding in my next video I'll talk about all these objects and all those uh, um, all those tags that I used in default I have used include tag and there are many conditional statements like for loop if else uh, these are some conditions that we can use in uh, Jekyll. Uh, this is Liquid by Shopify. Liquid is very easy. I'll be talking about that in the next one. So if you have liked the way I explained Jekyll, uh, then please hit like. And uh, you, you can also subscribe. And my next video will be coming out soon. Until then, bye-bye.